What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> For the most part, I don't like politicians. They're some of the slimiest, lying, conniving people that you could ever meet. They're professional liars. You meet them in public, you go to a convention, you go to a town hall, these people smile and appear so genuine, but on the inside, it's the house of cards. That's really what these people are truly like. And so for the most part, I can't stand politicians at all. They're the antithesis of what I believe a real American is. I believe that the real Americans out there care about America, care about Americans, care about the world. You know, I think a real American will care about the well-being of anybody in the world. But politicians only care about their salary, they only care about the deals that they can make, and the people that they can affect. And so, <laughs> with that being said, a congressman is reportedly under fire for using campaign funds to buy video games. Now, there have been congressmen who have used money for a lot worse things. Let me just say that. Congressmen use money for drugs. Congressmen, congressmen use money to have people, you know, attacked, possibly killed. All these things have happened in the past. Uh, congressmen use money to, you know, illegally embezzle money. And this congressman used money to buy video games. And I don't know how I feel about it. I'll drop a link in the description. California Republican Duncan Hunter is reportedly being questioned by the Federal Election Commission over his use of campaign funds to buy video games. The San Diego Union Tribune reported Hunter listed $1,302 worth of Steam games on his campaign financial disclosure for the end of 2015 with a note saying, quote, personal expense to be paid back, end quote. <laughs> the Republican lawmaker said, that the purchases were a mistake by his teenage son, who also made several unauthorized purchases. The Union Tribune reported that the purchases run from October 13th to December 16th, and no payback was listed during that time period. Joe Casper, a spokesman for Hunter, said the congressman's son used his father's credit card for one game and then several more charges were made after Hunter tried to close the access to Steam. Casper said Hunter is trying to have those charges reversed before repaying the campaign account. Quote, there won't be paying anything back there, depending on the outcome of the fraud investigation, depending on how long that takes, end quote. The FEC asked Hunter's campaign treasurer Monday to explain the expenses and repay them back. Hunter has until May 9th to respond to the FEC's request. Hunter has previously defended violent video games in the aftermath of mass shootings, and most notably made news in February when he vaped in the House of Representatives. Uh, I actually like this guy. He, he seems like a real dude, uh, Duncan Hunter and his son, who's uh, spent uh, over $1,000 on Steam games. Your son needs an ass whooping. You know, you spare the rod, you spoil the child. You need to tap that ass, first of all. But uh, this guy actually defended video games in, the, in the, the wake of all these mass shootings. That's something that I, I truly believe needs to happen. You can't blame video games for kids doing stupid stuff, especially you know, when these kids have mental illness issues and whatnot. But back to the story at hand, uh, this doesn't seem malicious. I'm sure on some level he probably bought a couple games. You know, $1,300 on a credit card is kind of hard to miss. Uh, and so he did write uh, my personal account to be paid back at some point uh, in his expense notes. So he knew about it. He didn't pay it back. All he's got to do is pay it back and get on with his professional career and keep defending games from all these conservatives who believe that video games are the cause of, of the downfall of society. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. This is a funny little story. Congressman got caught up by the federal government for $1,300 worth of Steam video games. That's a lot of Steam gaming, man. I hope your son had a good time. I'm the Beastly Gamer. I'll see you guys next time. Give a thumbs up. Show support for the channel, guys. If you're new to the channel, subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer. I'll see you guys next time.